Cheers and salutations. Welcome one and all to Chicago Reacts. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that ring bell notification. That way all of you are made aware we upload new content upon our YouTube channel. And today, 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 we have ourselves a fun video to check out. It is from Martin Sittopanch, reporting immigrants in contraband police. Okay, well, <clears throat> what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? So there you go. Uh, for all the videos we check out here for Chicago Reacts, the original link is in the description box below. So please be sure to check it out. We do that for all the videos because let's face it, a lot of time, effort, and energy is made into making these awesome videos that we all get to check out and all of you hip cool cats get to enjoy. So oh, grab yourself a tasty snack and a tasty beverage. And since I'm in charge of the ones and twos, let's get ready to check this video out in a three, a two, a one. Have you ever wanted to be a border patrol agent? You get to do wonderful things like look at documents and search for cocaine and deport immigrants fleeing from war zones and put people in a cell and stab people to death. No? Well, why the hell not? Welcome to Akaristan. The date is April 16th, 1981, and it's my first day as a contraband police officer. Akaristan is a beautiful nation, full of wanted criminals, terrible drivers, arms dealers, and an incredibly corrupt communist regime. But ha. Seems like, uh... An old school video game that has to do with passports and identification just up to 11 now. Don't worry, the power will never get to your head. Let's go ahead and check it out. And if you've played this game, please regale us with tales of your victories and defeats, your triumphs and your failures. What happens inside the country is not my problem. My job is to profile immigrants and lock them away. And when you look at that, the first immigrant is here. So, let us begin. First up is Boris Bonda. Hello. I remember that song. Who remembers that? He looks very suspicious. In order to ensure the sanctity of our great nation, I have to check every immigrant's name, photo, passport number, and expiration date. If there's a discrepancy anywhere, I must turn them away. As the game progresses, the list of checks gets longer and longer until you're cracking open fake goats looking for drugs. Whoa! Back to Boris. We take his documents. We have a look at his documents. His name is spelled correctly. His passport number matches. His ID is in date. Truly a model citizen. I will not be deporting this man, but I will be climbing into his vehicle. Ah, let me in, let me in. Let me in. Oh, fuck. There we go. Next up, Baha Palat, whose name is spelled. Ah, put him in jail right away. I don't, I don't care if it's, uh, if it's an error, that means he's a bad guy. Wrong. Oh, Polat. Polut. Ah. Oh, damn, this is actually very difficult. I did not see that at all. Wait, no, fuck! I meant to deport him! Stop! Get out of the vehicle! Oh, what did I do? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Shit. Oops. Well, whatever. One more criminal really isn't making it that much worse. No, no, of course. What, what could possibly go wrong? Any, any more criminals? Eh. This adds more spice to life. Right, and so ends our first day on the border. Sleepy time. Day two. This man is a smuggler. How do I know that? Well, conveniently, all smugglers make sure to mark their illegal goods with invisible ink that is revealed extremely easily with a UV flashlight. So we- Now these are stupid smugglers. Why would you do that? We found the contraband. What do we do now? Well, Petrov, the all-powerful voice in my head, gave me a knife. Yes, let the power and hate fuel you. Become the enemy. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh boy. All for me. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. You could. Whoa, you really could kill him. That's okay. <laughs> no! Oh no! Apparently, it's against the rules to stab cocaine smugglers to death. So instead, okay, so you can't kill them. You can't go crazy. You can't become the villain. I threw him in a room of rubber. <laughs> with the cocaine smuggler apprehended, I spent the rest of the day smashing boxes, hitching rides with immigrants. Why? Why? Now let me in. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. What? Can what? I just keep going? And putting the outpost into debt what? by spending it all on War Thunder, the sponsor of this video and the most comprehensive yes. vehicle combat game ever created. 2,000 vehicles, tanks, planes, helicopters, the money, all intricately detailed and modeled down to the smallest detail. And best of all, it's free. In-depth customization. You can do this, or this, or even this. Look at these graphics. Look at them. Press Glorious. Screen. Look at the graphics. 4K graphics. Oh my word. The 4K graphics. Beautiful music to relax and chill to. And an otherworldly atmosphere. What do I like about War Thunder? I'm not telling you. Actually, I am. It's this thing, my very own sticker. That's right, you can shoot hot lead into people while donned in the most incredible, ludicrous, crossing drift known to man. Gentlemen, you are now convinced huh? I'm controlling your mind to click the link in the description or pin comment and start playing War Thunder right now on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation for free. And get a free bonus when you sign up or have been inactive for more than six months. Premium vehicles, boosters, and most importantly, my decal. <clears throat> Day three. It's time. You know what? I, I, I'm a fan of War Thunder. I remember playing it way, way, way back when we had our Twitch channel, Chicago Plays. It was a lot of fun. I miss it. I truly do. I, I miss those days. Those It was so much fun. There was singing and dancing and destruction all around. Time to buy a gun. Meet Vlad, the shopkeeper and arms dealer. Ooh. For now, all Vlad will sell me is this shitty pistol. But I have a feeling that Vlad and I will become very good friends. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Shank the man outside. I'll hit him in the head with a crowbar. Can I just get away with that? Can I just do that? Like, what if I were to just, like, run up to him and just whack him in the head with a crowbar? Oh! Oh! I'm <laughs> okay. In my defense, I was feeling a little silly. <laughs> I hit a rock. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. What? Oh, that's not allowed. <laughs> Day 4. <laughs> New border restrictions require that all passengers with cargo provide an accurate cargo list, which in turn means that I must inspect all cargo, making sure to smash open any suspicious looking boxes of medicine. And let me tell you, some of the people in this game have some rather silly cargo. The amount of kitchen appliances is honestly ridiculous. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Day 5. The first guy of the day is carrying kitchen stoves, a box of apples, radioactive materials, uh, that's a big question mark right there with the radioactive materials. And cement. Fair enough. His name is spelled wrong anyways, so... Fuck off. The next guy pulls up to the border outpost, hands me his documents, and sneakily, while I'm not looking, drives off. Hey! Hey, stop! Get that motherfucker! Stop! Oh, shit. Get back here! Stop. Get him! You're under arrest! Get him! <laughs> Fox him in! Out of the car! Yes. That's great. Oi! Hey. You dickhead. Can you just fuck off, please? Hey, get out! Bruh. Once that dickhead was arrested and thrown into the rubber room, yes. made of rubber, I got a phone call from dispatch. They've lost contact with Sergeant uh, Gavrilov, who was. We're gonna, we're gonna show, call him Sh Sergeant, uh, Sergeant Gravy. We gotta look for Gravy. Hot on the trail of the, uh, blood fist? Sure. Imperial fist? Yeah, sure. Why not? Whatever. I hopped straight into my van with my boy Captain Sorokin by my side and drove to the lumber mill where Gavrilov was last seen. There you go. Alright. We're at the sawmill. What's going on here? <gasps> no! Ayo, Madro, Uskadomitsa, Inspectora, Ili, Incidente! Uh, yo, yo. Holy, shit. holy shit! He's dead! Ah. Get him! Get him! Sergeant Gravy, oh, how could you? Damn, I suck. <laughs> okay, what the hell just happened? Well, here's a quick history lesson. The people of Akaristan are currently in the middle of an ongoing battle for freedom, led by Mikhail Garin. And We're gonna call him Gary. And the Blood Feast. A rebel scum, terrorist, evildoer organization fighting against our beautiful, wonderful government. Why? I don't know. Sergeant Gavrilov mm -hmm. was supposed to be in charge of tracking down this Garin guy, but as we just saw at the sawmill, he's a traitorous bastard who killed my good friend, Captain Sorokin. So great. Gra Gary and Gravy are working together. What a nightmare. All this really means is hunting down the terrorists is now my job, which is really a pain. I'm just here to punish immigrants for faulty passports and sniff contraband. Why is this? This is my job. Was I supposed to die there? I think I was. 
Damn, straight up shot some foos. The tutorial is over, which means if I put the checkpoint in dead again, I get fired. Day six. Oh, well, that was, uh, that was interesting. It's just a little game about, you know, the border. Documents, please. Yeah, match valid. Is this all valid? I think he's good to go. Approved. Yes. Good. Hello, sir. Foreskin infect inspection day is in effect. Documents, please. Uh... Papers, please. Oh, I don't. Which is a great, again, awesome game. Great music, which we're hearing. Papers. Let's see it. Wow, that's really hard to see. That's a Y instead of. Okay, interesting. Mm. Passport number's completely off. Uh, that's. Send him to bay. jail. This guy is just all over the fucking place. Yeah. yeah. Right, nah. so you're nah. deported. Goodbye. His penis did not pass the inspection. <laughs> Damn, I'm on a roll. I what you got for me? My family is in danger. I have to take this course to pay off my debt. Please let me in. Yeah, I hear all the sob stories here, buddy. You think I care? Fair. You denied. Family is in danger. I have to take this course to pay off my debt. Please let me in. They're giving me the moral dilemmas. I do really like deporting people, though, so... <laughs> you might be a bit unlucky on this end. Yeah, I'm sorry, brother. Sorry. I do not care. Nope. You are being deported. And that's it for day six. Five. Too bad. Perfect. Inspection. After work, I decided to drop all my prisoners off at the... <clears throat> daycare and got this... Yeah, the daycare. I mean, who cares? Who cares, right? I mean, just because it's a labor camp, I mean, they're there to do work. W-R-K. I'm pretty sure they'll be treated humanely. Ominous warning before leaving. Surely that isn't anything important. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Ah! Run! <clears throat> I drove to the wrong place like an absolute fool, which means I need to drive back through past the attackers to where I need to go. I suppose I'll have to do some okay. impromptu police work. I'm gonna use my car as cover, and I'm going to just hope that... These prisoners don't get fucking destroyed. Oh shit. Leave. Leave. No, no, get out of the car. Okay. 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 No, 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 no. Out of the car. Out, out of the car. car. Get him. Kill. Get him. Oh. Yes. That's right. Shit. Can I loot him? <laughs> no. Don't give me this power. What is this? <laughs> On my way to the correct destination, I All ran right. into even more wanted criminals. But this time, my chat had a brilliant idea for how to get rid of them. Run them over. Yeah. Oh, you might be onto something with that. I'm going in! I'm on! Get him! Yes! <laughs> that actually worked. Day 7. Today, I received some rather ominous junk mail. Let's see. You communist trash. How dare you? Because of you, my family barely made it out alive. When the bandits found out that I would not pay the money back on time, they set fire to our house and killed a dog. I have asked you for so little, but of course you must abide by these heartless rules. I hope you are met by a similar fate someday. Man, dude, I'm not paid enough to care. Now listen, you may read this and think, Mart, you heartless bastard. You should have let him through. But if you look very closely at the photo attached, you can see a Shutterstock watermark. Can you believe the nerve on these people? Okay, back to work. Next. Alarm! What? <laughs> We're under attack. Oh my god, I have to This is unfortunate. I have another gun though, don't I? Oh. This gun is full of ammo. What? Oh my god, the car blew up! I can handle the border attack, just as long as the car behind me doesn't fucking explode. Yeah. How is that fair? Oh, also, this game is made from fucking shit, piss, and cum, so my inventory got wiped when I loaded the checkpoint. Gah! Why do I have nothing? Give me a gun! Shit! Shit! <laughs> I'm hiding. Crap. Put me in the cell! Put me in the cell! No! Constable Novak! Constable! Oh. Gas pipe. Knife. And a spade. Ah! Ah, there's a grenade! Get him! What the fuck is going on? I'm actually good. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, you're dead. <laughs> Maybe I should restart the day. I ended up redoing the entire day just to get back to that border attack, but this time, I was ready. I'm going in! Shoot him! Oh! <laughs> the epic slow. Let's see. 
Let's see. There's Orica, Orbanoffs. I'm going to call the Oberweiss. Oberweiss's gang. That's not proper how you say his name. An organized criminal group operating in that place. They are involved in smuggling, arms dealing, and kidnapping for reason. They are in constant conflict with the police and the blood fist. Anti-government resistant movement led by Gary. Their goal is to liberate Arkistan from the hands of the communists. Over the past few years, they have successfully penetrated deep into state authorities. Oh my goodness, you. Emotion kill. With the attack. Just be safe about it. As vanquished, I thought it might be a good idea to hire some extra help to avoid any future fucky wuckies. So I did just that. Time to sleep. Wait, no, that's not the line. The line is time for bed. Day eight, I got a promotion, which means I make more dollary dues for yes. every correct approval or rejection. And with that extra cash, I bought a shotgun. But yes. what's good as a shotgun really if it doesn't kill bandits faster than a pistol? Yeah. Do I test the shotgun out? Chat, do I test the shotgun out? Yes, you do. Yes. Do it. Yes, 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 yes. So let's do a little test. It took me 23 seconds to wipe out a crew of banders before. Now how long does it take? Use violence. Sit! Violence. Yes! Sit! 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 Oh, shit. Oh my god, this gun's so good. A mere Perfect. 18 seconds to annihilate any and all assailants. Truly. Incredible. Mwah. Dang. You can't go wrong with a shotgun. After all, look at that. It's beauty. Beauty in its purest form. Shotgun. Shotgun love. Day nine. Oh wait, not quite. Dispatch managed to track down Gavrilov, the traitor who killed Captain- oh, Gravy, how could you? Sorokin to a suspected rebel hideout. Time for a little police work. I have a different car now. Oh. Oh, oh la la. Brum brum. Hey, Gravy. Hello, Gavrilov. I got some mashed potatoes for you. Mm, okay. <laughs> Gavrilov becomes suspicious. Can't let him do that. Nothing suspicious over here. Nothing suspicious at all. Crash into him, no balls. So do true. It. out oh wait what fuck I wasn't paying attention fuck I'm so bad ah! <laughs> Ooh, he's out of the car there's gravy oh my god game's a stealth game now what's he up to use the grenade use the grenade confront him Let's see. You can come in, I'm not armed. Oh, you guys, just kill him. Okay, right here, the game offers you a choice. Let's see. I know you've been here for a short time. You don't know the whole truth. This tyrant, Arkov, he gets rid of everyone who strives for freedom and democracy. Oh, those are just words. <laughs> Opposition leader, Mikhail Gary. Barely survived after how they tried to poison him. Well, too bad, so sad. Too bad, so sad. Choice. Join Gavrilov, fighting for a better Akaristan, free of corruption, a paradise on Earth, a place for all to rejoice. Or beat him up, arrest him, and maintain the status quo. Arrest him. Arrest. 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 Chad has spoken. You're under arrest, Gavrilov. Great work, fellas. Lock that fucker up. We love the... <laughs> government in this house. All right. Day nine. After slaughtering more than a dozen evildoers at the police base, wow. I was granted a whopping $800 dues. More than enough to purchase a brand new submachine gun from our good pal Vlad. And what good. better opportunity to test it out than on some shit-sucking bandits? Oh, shit. Get him. Run him over. Good chance. Run him over. Get out the machine gun. Get out the machine gun. Yes. Holy shit. And Great. time. 12 seconds, baby. New PB. Beautiful. <laughs> Day 10. Basically, <laughs> nothing noteworthy happened. Except for this. A, a, a Karistan. He's a Karistani. <gasps> what? No! Bobby. Rest in peace. From the window to the wall, buddy. Rest in peace. I mean, I got a perfect inspection, but... Constable Novik. He's dead! Fucking dumbass Constable Novik. Jesus Christ, man. 
Day 11. Another great day in a Karistan. Constable Movic is... Uh oh. We don't talk about the cloning facilities. It's fine. Constable Novik is uh, alive again. What? Who are you? Where is the real constable? What are you? <laughs> On day 12, I got promoted again, which means I can buy a rifle for. What? Fuck. I oh. will be back for you, my son. Day 13. I caught another smuggler who paid me handsomely to let him through. Oh, he's giving me a bribe. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, look. He's a bribe. He's just got to get that chicken across the border. Enjoy your chicken. And that's about it. Day 14. I got another call from dispatch, this time sending me to investigate a murder at the Drunken Bear Inn. But this isn't just any murder. This is... A murder mystery. <laughs> Gentlemen, put your detective caps on. First things first, let's do... Okay, so first of all, I had no idea that this game existed. Second of all, how many of you have played this and is it worth it to betray said government? Or should you just sit back and follow the orders and arrest anyone that goes against the establishment? Type, type, type in the comment section below. This is, this is absolute art. Do some investigating. Out the back of the inn is our victim, Ole. And inside are our suspects. Okay. We've got Yegor, the cleaner, Yegor, hold on. Vasil, Timor, Petrovsky, and the bartender. The bartender t Well, what does it tell you about this country? It's probably not that great because there's no women here. <laughs> so let's check out the suspects Inside again. Are our suspects. We've got Yegor, mm -hmm. the cleaner, Vasil, Timor, Petrovsky, and the bartender. All right. All right. I'm going to go... With Jaeger. The bartender tells me that yesterday was nothing out of the ordinary until the cleaner came to him, saying a man was dead out back. Talking to the cleaner, he tells me he saw Oleg get in a fight with a man wearing a beret over a game of cards before the murder. Suspicious. Very suspicious. Vasil, the guy wearing said beret, tells me he wanted to kill Oleg, and then doubles back and blames Timor instead. Very suspicious. Petrovsky tells me he's worked with Oleg for years and was there to celebrate his promotion. He blames Yegor, who apparently has a lot of outstanding debt. Even more suspicious. Yegor also tells me he was there celebrating Oleg's promotion from the previous night, and he had no reason at all to kill good old Oleg. Extremely suspicious. Timor Kochi. We're gonna call him Coach. Tells me he didn't want to be at the bar at the first place and would have preferred to stay home. So, who done it? Using my extremely high power deductive abilities, I concluded that Timur and the cleaner were innocent. The mm. game then prompted me to take a walk over to the gazebo. This is where I died. What? What? Uh-huh. The murderer got How? you. Turns out I was uh, wrong. Shit. Okay, jokes aside, this mission seems cool at first, but it is absolute fucking Shit. It's really just guess and check until you narrow it down to Timur and the cleaner when the warehouse finally gets unlocked. After that, you just interact with this inconspicuous scrap of paper on the okay. floor, which I, of course, figured out in a... Commander, as per your order, I figured out Oleg... Oleg, and I confirm his connections to KGP. Snitch will die today. Long live free Arkison. Very reasonable length of time and did not spend 15 whole minutes playing prop hunt and blowing myself up with a gas canister. Oh... <laughs> when you finally do find the note, it turns out to be a literal murder confession from Timor. You don't even get to carefully deduce who did it, it's just written out for you. The game gives you another chance to side with the rebels and set Timor free, but honestly, if you don't arrest that rat, I don't like you. <laughs> Day 15. I finally bought my beautiful rifle, and I took it for a test drive on a gang of thugs I stumbled upon earlier. Get, get him. Get him. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. A new PB of two seconds. Quite impressive. Day 16 and 17, nothing really interesting happened. So moving on. <laughs> Morning, gentlemen. Time to go to jail. Day 18. Novid. Get it? Because Novid. Oh no. Bad news, comrade. Novid is back. To prevent the epidemic from spreading, the party is closing the borders to the unvaccinated. Huh. That's in no relation to something that happened in 2020, right? Eh, it's not that important. Because it's like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 Day 19. 
apprehend a smuggler, reject a man with incredibly suspicious cargo, or chemical... Let's see. Chemical agents and a cucumber barrel. Just who does he think he is coming in with that cucumber barrel? No. This dude don't add up. Nothing ain't adding up about this guy. If something ain't right. Can't trust him. Can't trust him at all. Three cucumber barrels. <laughs> what? Why are you transporting cucumbers? <laughs> Chemical agents. Watch Constable Novik almost get run over. Constable <laughs> Novik, man. Dude, you gotta be careful, buddy. Come on, boy. What's wrong oh, with yeah. you? Sniper rifle, which turns out to be pretty bad, and then go to bed. Day 20. Nothing. Except for Poor Thunder is the most real 100 emoji video game ever created. Download it now for free. Get the bonuses. Get the cool ass decal. Please listen to me. I don't have much time. Here are the secret documents revealing the shell specifications on the M1 <laughs> Download War Thunder right now and start abusing people in the forums with this knowledge. They As they should. 325 are all more of the same. Just contraband police work, I suppose. You know what? Maybe you were right at the start. Maybe being a border police officer does suck ass. Four days just passed, and the most interesting thing I saw was this guy with one. Singular. Cool. Day 26. A call from dispatch. I must report to the labor camp immediately. And bring a gun. Upon arrival, they load me up with ammo and tell me they have the leader of those shit-eating bandits. I just need to sit in the back of this big metal truck and defend it while they drive to a more secure location. Uh -oh. My first attempt... Get him. Uh... Oh. Didn't end well. But, on the second attempt, we made it all the way to the Rebel Blockade. This is about 10 seconds from the end of the mission. To complete it, all I have to do is listen to this Rebel's instruction- <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> but they're the bad guys. I have to redo the entire- <laughs> The only reason I couldn't kill them, the only one, is so that I can canonically kill them off camera 10 seconds later. What? What? The fuck? Day 30. My boy. My brother. My closest <laughs> friend, Vlad, was robbed. Who the hell would do such a thing? I hunted down the fugitive. You piece of shit. I'll kill you. Into the tree. Go ahead. Lock that fucker up. I made it back to the outpost and in the middle of the afternoon got a call from dispatch. There's a gathering of rebels at the Drunken Bear Inn. The leader of the rebels, Garen, is in attendance. And I'm tasked with taking him out. Good, get him! Show up, dramatic drama ensues, I shoot about 300 men, make my way inside, find a secret room, get choked out, and stab that fucker in the neck. Victory of the party. After Gary's death, the blood fist disintegrates, and everyone associated with the organization is tracked down and locked up in labor camps. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. Okay, there you go. The the party wins. Once again, the political police and border police are victorious. Is that it? There we go. Game done. Thanks for watching. Get subscribed. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay. First of all, that was awesome. I wasn't expecting uh, that video to be papers, please, on steroids. Um. Uh, but that looked like a fun game. So for those of you who have had a chance to play it, uh, by the way, outstanding video from Martin Stopanch, uh, because this was this was fun, and I do encourage everyone to check it out. It's in in its full entirety. But um, I wasn't expecting this video and the amount of immersion in it. It looks like it's a little bit difficult to get a hold of, and obviously you don't want to go into debt playing the game or ease it out in the tutorial. But uh, to those who have played the game, uh. Tell me, what was your experience playing it? Did you side with the Rebels? What is the alternate ending to rebelling against the system? Do you have to take on your former comrades, or do you become the Rebel leader yourself? Type, type, type in the comment section below. Let us know what's going on. And folks, listen, we here at Chicago Reacts want all of you hip, cool cats to do the right thing in this video in the description box below. The link to the original video is there. Go to it. Check out Martin Sidopanz's YouTube channel. Follow him on all of his social media do it because he'll lock you up. He'll put you in the rubber room. And then the frog will get you. And you don't want the frog to get you. That's a guarantee. Trust me on it. We here at Chicago Reacts have made peace with the frog. and We don't want the frog to come after us. There must be peace in our times. Or else all is lost. 
Until then, take good care of yourselves and each other. Drink water. Stay focused. Stay hydrated as you should. And uh, if you're going to the border, just make sure uh, the frog isn't there. Because chances are you're either going to bribe your way out or he's just going to not have you come in. Unless, I don't know, you're cool. Just don't bring, you know, containers of cucumbers. That's that's a big red flag right there. Peace. Oops. Oops. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Thank you.